Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning English. This is Colin. Hello, everybody. This is Jen. 欢迎大家收听早安英文 Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。Hey Jen. Yesterday, I was sitting outside, and a couple of kids were playing near me. And I heard one of them say, "Fire in the hole!" Now these kids are pretty young and haven't started to learn English yet. I was wondering how they learned this phrase. Oh, they probably learned it from computer games. You know, a lot of shooting games have soldiers yelling that out when they are blowing stuff up. 那在很多网游当中呢，士兵炸东西的时候就会喊 "Fire in the hole"， 说不定那些小朋友就是从游戏里面学的。Yeah, yeah. You know, I never thought of that. I guess because I seldom play computer games, I forget how much time youngsters spend playing and what they can learn from them. So you think playing computer games is good for kids? Well, it has positives and negatives for sure. But one positive is that some of them are learning some English phrases, and something like "fire in the hole" is important as it's a warning and could potentially save someone from injury or worse. Yeah, I guess I've never thought about it that way. I've always just considered computer games as a waste of time. 我一直都觉得电子游戏挺浪费时间的 You know, the amount of time people spend playing games, thousands of hours, when they can be a waste of time. Imagine being able to use all that time to learn. Yeah. Anyway, there are a lot of warning phrases in English that can be very confusing for non-native speakers. That's true. Let's go over some of them today. 那今天呢，我们就来聊聊跟 warning 警告相关的一些英文习语。I think one can confuse people is when they hear someone yell out "duck." <laughs> yeah, that must seem strange, like someone yelling out "chicken," "elephant," "kangaroo." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the worst thing to do when you hear the word "duck" used like is to look for the duck. Yeah, right. <laughs> when "duck" is said, it's a single word as an exclamation. It means to lower yourself down towards the ground, especially your head. Yeah, we say duck as a warning that something is coming towards you. Duck 这个单词呢，除了做名词表示鸭子，还可以做动词表示迅速低头、躲避、躲开的意思。因为鸭子在水面上划水的时候，经常就会把头迅速的没入水中嘛，就好像害怕打到头一样而躲避了，对吧？ Yeah, if something like a ball or other object has been thrown and is coming in your direction, you may hear someone shout "duck." <laughs> okay, another warning phrase you might hear is "watch out." Yeah, this does not mean to take your Rolex or Apple watch out. It means to be alert to the current situation. If this is shouted in your direction, it implies something unexpected is about to occur. 对，这里 "watch out" watch 就不是手表的意思了。而是表示要注意，要小心。So whereas duck means to lower yourself, watch out is more general. Maybe you are going to step in a hole, and your friend yells out, "Watch out!" This is like saying "be careful," but it's much, much stronger. And when people hear it, they will usually stop moving and look for the problem. Yeah, and watch out can be used to give more general advice too. Sure, like watch out, you don't get your heart broken by that handsome waiter. <laughs> There are other words we can say that will get people to stop moving in case of danger. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the first way is just to say "don't move." The most common reason this is said is when there's some sort of bug on you. Like, let's say I saw a spider on your back. What? Where? Where? No, no, no not really. Just an example. Okay. I hate spiders. Yeah, yeah. Many people do.、Uh, I do, but. You give a good example as to why we don't yell "spider." You really freaked out there. But if we say "don't move," you are just still, and I can get rid of the spider. Ah,、uh, yeah. So you say "don't move," 别动可能就比直接说 "spider" 有蜘蛛就没那么吓人 And another way is to say "freeze." Yeah, yeah. In the old American police movies, you hear the police shout "freeze" at a criminal. It means "don't move." Old American movies. They don't do that anymore.、Uh, no, no. Now they just shoot. 
<laughs> There's a saying in America: "Shoot first, ask questions later." That means to take action right away, even though you are not sure if the action is appropriate. Yep.、Yeah, yep.、Yeah. Anyway, we will still say "freeze" to someone in the same way we say "don't move." So, which one is common? Well, saying "freeze" is faster, and it's used in more immediate, dangerous situations. "Don't move" is often said in a calmer way and usually slower, like "Don't move." There's a spider on your back. Where? 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 Relax, relax. There's no spider. Please stop that. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. I've heard you use the phrase "heads up" before as a warning. Oh yeah. Well, heads up is used for less immediate situations and often for giving information. For example, "heads up," the boss is in a bad mood, or "heads up," mom knows you went out with that boy she doesn't like. Oh, so a little like watch out, but not as strong. 那 heads up 可能就没有 watch out 那么有紧迫感 Yeah, like. If a balloon was going to hit you, I would say heads up. But if a baseball was going to hit you, I would say watch out.、Mm-hmm. But after either one hits you, I would laugh though. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. Do you know the phrase "hit the deck"? Yeah, it means to lie on the floor quickly because there's something dangerous coming overhead. Hit the deck. 它的意思呢，就是说因为头上有危险的东西而迅速倒下 Right. But I don't know why it's deck instead of floor or ground. Why is it used deck, 甲板这个单词而不是地板之类的呢 Oh well, it's because it comes from the navy.、Um, on ships, the part that everybody stands on is called the deck, and hit the deck came from enemy planes flying over ships, shooting, and you you needed to get as low as possible. So when might someone use hit the deck? Well, maybe there's some like falling debris or something like that. Couldn't you just say "watch out for that"? Sure, sure, but this is more specific about what to do. When you say "watch out," the other person may not know what to do. But phrases like "hit the deck," "duck," "freeze," and "take cover" tell the person what to do. Take cover. Haven't I mentioned that one yet? Well, take cover means something dangerous is about to happen, and you should get out of the way. Here again, either on the floor or behind a wall, which would shield you from danger. If someone is telling you to take cover, it's probably too late to run away. Okay, I got it. Take cover 其实也是表示躲避的意思 Any more? Hang on. No, I don't mean wait. I mean another warning is hang on. Oh yeah, <laughs> it means to hold something so that you don't fall, right? Yeah, but. You know, even in a car, when you're really not going to fall, we might say "hold on" to mean keep yourself steady because the crazy driver is moving all over the place. Right, right. Spider. Where, where, where? Colin. <laughs> well, that's all the time we have for today. Welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语，听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。So thanks for listening. This is Colin. This is Jen. See you next time. Bye. Bye.